Coach Mitchell, Grandview. First off, how many years is Grandview near, north of Des Moines? Yeah, in Des Moines. In Des Moines. Yep. How, you love north of Des Moines. I do. Yeah. yeah. That's right. yeah. I, I read things. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, but when we, you know, I look at uh, Grandview. A lot of people don't know much about anything lower division. Right. You know, and I try and study up on things and learn all I can. But right. looking at Grandview, when did you start the program? 2008 was the first year. The 0809 season was our first year. And since then, you guys are the four-time defending NAIA national champions. Yep. And I, I'll tell you what, the product, I see it on the mat. The, you know, two guys I watched mainly were, were Long and Cologne this week. And yep. just dynamite. Cologne loses a tight match in the round of 12 to uh, Hall. Yep. Yeah, and it was just, but I love the product I see. Yeah. How hard is it for you guys to get guys in to Des Moines, Iowa and put out this, you know, probably going to, you're right in there to keep rolling with another national title. How hard is it? Um, yeah, it's just like anybody else, it's tough. I mean, but obviously the, the thing we have going for us right now is now we have some tradition, you know. So getting that thing going seven years ago, eight years ago, that was tough. You know, you call kids up and they never heard of Grandview. They don't know what it is. They don't know where you are. And so every phone call was a 10-minute recruiting spiel where now a lot of the kids know, you know who we are and where we're at. And so it's a lot easier to get guys on campus. You know, I look at uh, bringing Long in yeah. at, at 141. I was reading an article that you guys did, and, and there were a lot of things where, there was a lot of things you had to look, you know, inward into yourself, and yep. you know, there were things you had to go to your administration about. Sure. How was that process, and, and how is his third chance going? Uh, it's going really well. You know, yeah, that process, obviously, we wanted to make sure we were doing the right thing for everybody. You know, I, I've known Andrew for a while. I know his brother, Dylan. Um, we spent some time getting to know him again and, and making sure that you know, we all felt like we were on the same page. And um, we just wanted to make sure that it was the right thing to do all the way around. And, uh, and it has been, and, and it, I think it's still going to continue to be. I mean, he had a 4.0 for a semester. He's uh, obviously he's wrestling really well right now. So it's been great, you know. And, and honestly, people ask me about him all the time. Of course, you know, how's he doing? And, and realistically, it's like having another coach on staff. I mean, he's, he's a leader on the team, and, and he lives his life the right way. And we're, uh, we're lucky to have him. Feels like a lot of the media focuses on only Division One wrestling, but you got you guys are NAI. Yeah. A lot of people don't even know what NAI is. They no. call you the wrong division constantly, no. and I listen. Yeah. And uh, for you guys to get out there and, and have the name that you're building, yeah. what's that feel like to you? And, and bringing it, you know, Thompson, you had Eric Thompson as yeah. well. He yeah. was a what three-time national champion. That's right. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. I mean, you got guys, and that's a guy who he'll, he'll be in there to get on the Olympic team. Yeah. He's really good. Yeah. He trains at Penn State now. Yeah. But like looking at guys like that, you know, Andrew Long. It's, you know, the process feels like it's going to keep building with you guys. But what's it like always battling the D1s and, and, and not really getting the namesake? Yeah, it's what it is. I mean, it's wrestling, you know, so it's not like we're getting this ton of publicity anyway. So uh, for us, you know, I guess that's part of the plan is you want to put yourself in there with, with some of the biggest names in, in the sport at every level. And that's why we're here. And, and I guess for us, we really talk a lot about trying to raise the bar. And yeah, we want to win the NAI national title, but that's not the ultimate goal. The goal is to find out how good we can be as a program. And so hopefully along the way that we win that title and that's what happens. But I want to find out how good we can be. And so I, I still feel like we're just scratching the surface with this program. We've been around this is the eighth year now and, and we've got a shot to win another national title this year. But just like you're talking about, we want to put somebody on the world team. We want somebody to win the Olympic title. I mean, but just because you're cut at a smaller school doesn't mean you can't think like that. And that's that's been kind of our mindset since we got going. And uh, that's, that's not going to change as long as I'm the coach. When you look at bringing Andrew Long in, what were the things, what were the conversations with your administration about bringing somebody in who, who'd had, you know, a troubled past? Sure. What were the things, what was the biggest battles you had to fight? Uh, just making sure, you know, obviously part of it is what's it, what's the media going to say? You know, what, what's it going to look like um, on the outside? And so making sure that people understand that we really went through our due diligence and, and you know, we, we made sure that this was the right thing to do. Um, we're all in the same, our, our president was involved, our vice president was involved, the whole cabinet was involved, I was involved, the athletic director was involved. I mean, we, we made this decision together um, and obviously along with Andrew to make sure that this was the, the right thing to do. How many years does he have left? Uh, this year and one more. This year and one more? Yeah. And your guys, you, have, you don't have like the clock issue, like no. D1 has a clock issue. Right, yeah, I think um, Division One's the only one that actually has a clock that's continuous clock, so with us there's no clock. It stops when you're not in college. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, 
you know, you know, I, 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 Frank Romano is the coach at Notre Dame College, and then Anthony Ralph, they're the coaches there. Yeah. I wrestled with the one, and one was my coach. Yeah. They started Notre Dame College similarly, I think right. two years earlier, and you guys yeah. started this. But um, NAI has always seemed to climb. Is that something that's in your guys' future? Are you going to do the climb to NCA Division Two? Is what my guess would be mm -hmm. on that or not? I don't know everything, but is that something that is a climb in the future? I don't think so. Um, you know, our administration hasn't ever talked about it. Um, I, I, I really like being the NAI. Honestly, I mean, we're the fastest growing division right now. I, I like being part of this division, and for, we don't see it as a climb either. You know, what I mean, that's the other thing about it is that it's. Uh, Maybe it's another division, you know. But obviously, I don't. I guess maybe I don't see a lot of difference, you know. It's, um, wrestling's wrestling, you know. So I don't think um, Grandview is is looking at doing that anytime soon. Um, at least not for whatever. You know, the, speaking of the future of wrestling, there's 77 Division Ones right now. It's shrinking constantly, year after year. It shrinks. They lose one or two here. It seems like is the future of wrestling in the college level. Is it NAIA, D2, and D3? Is that the future of it? I don't know, man. That's uh, you know, I'm on the NWC board, and so I'm, I hear a lot of the conversations about you know what we can do to start more Division One programs. And a big part of it is it's the grassroots. So you have to start with the kids. You have to start with the junior high, the high schools, and the in the small uh, college programs. So um, I don't know. I mean, I think we're going to continue to grow. Obviously, the it's like the one time that the bad economy helps helps us. You know, with wrestling, it, uh, all these schools are tuition driven, so they, they want to add enrollment. They want to add. Some, want to get more kids on campus and that's an easy way to do it is that wrestling all right I, am i going to see anything besides like constant offense tonight i hope not man he's got a motor and that's the key he just gets his feet moving and gets that motor going and it's going to be fun to watch all right coach you got anything else for me that's it i'm excited to be here Let's hey go. good luck thanks for the time all right thanks man.